Okay, please excuse the scruffs, but I'm covered in polishing compound because I've just been finishing off uh, my latest reproduction helmet. I uh, haven't made a movie of this one before, so before the UPS guy arrives, I thought I'll show it to you. Uh, it's a reproduction of a helmet worn by Sir, Sir Frederick Williams' army, the Battle of Fabellin in 1675, and uh, it's becoming a signature helmet of mine now because of all the flutes. So this is a fluted lightweight Prussian cavalry helmet or cuirassier helmet which as you can see features a total of 26 hand forged flutes and uh, these are black and white helmets and the reason for that is that when this helmet comes out of the forge and then gets put into an oil bath while it's still hot uh, it comes out black you have to do a couple of other things but basically it's an all black helmet after that and so then the high points and the edges are ground back to bare metal which gives this black and silver appearance but this is not referred to as a black and silver helmet it's referred to as a black and white helmet um, for the geeks it has a total of 96 handmade brass and steel rivets um, of course it has the uh, characteristic sliding nasal bar and spiralled uh, front screw and top knot deep embossed cheek pieces. The reason for the deep embossing here is so that when the helmet is worn tight to the face the back of the ear here, ear here is free. It's not actually painful so the helmet can be worn tighter than a lot of other helmets. Uh, three piece articulation on the tail and you'll see inside and it's the reason for all of these rivets that run around the edges because inside here is a one inch wide strip of leather which is called the lining strip sewn to that strip is the leather lining because this client wants to wear this helmet so we have a deerskin buff lining uh, helmet weighs about two kilos or five pounds thereabouts and if you'd like one yourself have a look on the website www.nigelcarron.com thanks a lot